Okay, so let's say this is N, and this is Bob, and this is Eve, okay? Now N has a secret message, and she wants to send that message to Bob through Eve. So she wants to give the message to Eve, and Eve can give the message to Bob, okay? And Eve gives the message to Bob. But Anne doesn't want Eve to be able to read the message, okay? And of course, right now, she can see the contents of the message, okay? So, the simplest way to do this is to do symmetric encryption, which means that Anne should encrypt the file using a key, and then Bob, when he receives the file, he can encrypt the message using the same key, okay? So, we're going to use gpg to do this okay so here is n's terminal so gpg dash dash symmetric and then dash dash output and the name of an output file so let's say encrypted message then the input file which is message with text okay then and should enter a key so password Password. Okay, this is the key that Bob should use to decrypt the message later. So she can give Eve the file, and if Eve tries to open the file, this is not a text file, but even if she tries to open it in a text editor or a hex editor, she shouldn't be able to make anything out of the file. Okay, then when Eve gives the message, gives the message to Bob, and Bob can do gpg dash dash decrypt and the name of the file okay so gpg dash dash decrypt and then encrypted message then he should provide the key which is password and there it is okay if he wants to redirect the output to a file you can use the redirect operator okay then the name of an output file so decrypted message Decrypt the message of text. And there it is. Okay. So this works for any type of file. So and as an image file, this is KDE Neon's logo. Okay. So GPG dash dash symmetric. And let's also use dash A. Okay. So the dash A stands for ASCII armored. Dash output. And then encrypted image and then image the png okay then we'll use the same key password okay and she can give the encrypted image to e now the difference what dash a does is this encrypted image is encrypted in what is called an ascii armored format which means that um, the image is encrypted using ascii code so we can copy over this ASCII code to a new file. We can copy it over a messenger or anything. So let's create a text file. And let's call it encrypted image.txt. And let's paste the ASCII armored version of the encrypted file. Save. And we can decrypt it the same way. So gpg dash dash decrypt. And the encrypted image of text I'm going to put it into a file called the encrypted image I want to give the key and there it is okay well what if Anne wants to encrypt a directory or a folder so a directory okay if she puts the message and the image inside what she can do is she can simply compress the directory into tar or zip then she can do she can use the same method okay so the output should be here's the directory and my directory dot zip Oh. 
Oh. Okay. okay. Give it to M. To Eve, I mean. And Eve gives it to Bob. And Bob. Decrypts. Encrypted directory into a zip file. Then you can extract it. And there it is. Okay. So this is how to do symmetric encryption using GPG. Okay. So there are other method methods to do encryption. And note that uh, encryption provides confidentiality. It does not provide integrity. If you want to ensure the integrity of the file, we should use something like a checksum or even better, a digital signature. And a digital signature ensures integrity as well as the authenticity of the center, sender. And this means that Bob can be sure that Anne is the one who sent the message and not Eve.